Right, we're back onto Walker's second hive now. This super went on um, just a little under two weeks back. Uh, we're just going to have a quick peek into the brood box. Then we're going to have a look to see if the frames have been drawn out. That's the frames of foundation and the super. Uh, and a quick peek at the and see how the bees are doing in the brood box. We've already given some smoke. Feels quite positive, that. Crown ball. I'm putting the crown ball just on the top. It contains the bees then in the super, and then they're not flying up in our faces, and we can conduct. I, I, I do think that other frame is due off that one. Mm -hmm. but, uh, right. Again, we've got the plastic excluders fitted, which I favour. To be warned, they do tend to come up with a bit of a ping. Lovely. We always look on the underside just to see in case the, the queen is there. The queen is marked, she's a white queen. Is she there? No, no. But as I said, there's, there's many a bee kick under the grief put, put his excluder down on the floor. And his queen's been on it, exit, accidentally or whatever. And we put it near the doorway so the bees, we can see we've certainly got a good, a good hive of bees here. We'll just take the frames out at the ends. That's not been drawn, but that's the end one. Some people put 12 frames in these and some people put 11 frames and a, and a dummy board, you won't, with nothing on. Yeah. Because you do need to move, need, need, need the, the room to manoeuvre. Honeybee don't like being rolled and it can't be helped. It's really tight fit. You're pulling them up, you're rolling the bees around and they don't like it. And they tell you that they don't like it. In no uncertain terms. Now you can see how they've started to draw well, this on already. <laughs> they've started That's a really good one. You can beautiful. really see it, can't you? Yeah. What a beautiful pattern that's created yeah. already. And you, you, you've got to realise this nuke's only been in this box about a month, you know, and it's done it in a month. Only that side. What I, what I would do as it as it opens that and as it draws this frame out, I would then turn it round the rotate. other way. But yeah. just for the moment, it's doing okay. So how often are you having to check on these once they start drawing um, out? I look for the signs, the positive signs, like pollen going in. No, I mean, how often do you check the the hive? Do, are you checking it daily? No, no, no. In in the swarming season, about once every five days. Right. But once we've passed the swarming season, which hopefully we have. Look at the drone. And when is the swarming look season? Look at the honey. So now this is the honey I was telling yeah. you about. This is their stores. This is their pantry. Can you see that? The starter packs. <laughs> yeah. That's their naffy, that's their stores. And that's always good to see. As I say, we're just about, oh, look at that. Look at that. Beautiful. Drawn that, and that beautiful? Right? But like we talked earlier, that's fully drawn out. What we'll do, we'll turn this round now, and hopefully they'll continue, you know, they're drawing that and putting, they'll start to put honey or nectar in that one, yeah? They're being very, very well behaved. Yeah, it's not as noisy as the other one. No. There we go. Point out any drums. Oh my god. <laughs> so now you were saying you check these to see if there are any eggs in them. That there is a queen cell. The big one, yeah. The big one. So is that hang on, look, we've got a whole couple. load yeah. of queen yeah. cells. Look at one, two, three. And there's me just saying that the swarming season is over. So this, uh, is, this is in preparation for them to go swarming. Exactly. Is that not yeah. four? Because they do that, there. don't they? Yeah. Four. four. Yep. One, two, three, five. four, five. You always at the bottom. Over here. It could be. We're just going to have a little look once my friend is out of the way. If I always just put your back of your hand, just gently, ever gently, and they'll clear for you. No, they're feeding. 
That's someone or nothing, but there's definitely one, what you see, and they're all sealed. One, two, three. Hear? Hear that quack? Yeah. They're quacking. Um, yeah, I can you hear them quacking? Yeah. And what are they, what, what is that indicating? Tell them, we're here. We're, we're in. here. We're in here. Yeah. Hear them? Yeah. Listen, yeah. That. that's so unique. Listen. Oh, yeah. There's a quack too, isn't That's it? a quack. That's a proper quack. They're saying, look, we're here. We're yeah. here. So how many of these queen cells will they make before they swarm? Because you were saying these are sealed, and once normally they're sealed, they would go. We've got to look at why have they created the cells yeah. okay. as the queen died. So we're going through now, and we're going to look for eggs. Selection, are we? Right, and then if we don't find any eggs and signs of life, it means for whatever reason the queen is dead. So one of these five ladies is going to be our next queen. So we've got to play God here and select two. The first one out will kill the other. Right. And that's selection. So let's just have a little look. But they're very, very well behaved. They really are good. But we're looking for eggs. I don't see any eggs. All right, girls, all right, yeah. Right. No eggs there. I have a feeling this has gone queenless. For some time. No, I don't think that long, no, it's only within the next, last Two weeks. five, six days, oh. as soon as that. These are well behaved though, Mum. We're looking for the Queen, we think the Queen may have gone. Again, brood, yeah. but I don't see any, usually the giveaway is, See how they're putting yeah. nectar and honey in the cells that have just hatched, yeah? Mm. Normally they would be clean and they'd be dry. What we call in beekeeping is they would have been polished yeah. and they're not. They're filling them up with, that's another indication that the queen has gone, mm. right? So we're going on the hunt now. I mean, all this is brood at the top. I don't normally get brood at the top, but it's a nice brood. A few drone. I'm looking along here. But no, no eggs. No eggs, no larva. It's looking like the queen's gone. So then, shortly, we're going to have to, we're going to, have to make a decision. Or Lee is. Lee, stop running. <laughs> Uh, just let me get over here, Lee, because I can't. See, we've been had a lovely brood, but again, see what I mean? All this area here would normally be cleaned and left clear. But see how they're filling it with nectar? Mm -hmm. Can you see it, Mum? Yeah. What's from there? Here. Yeah. Are we going another? Ah, well oh. spotted, girl. Yeah. And that's what we're looking for. All this talking, talking now. I'm not looking. We need to be looking. For queen cells. So that could be a queen, that's a queen in there. That is a queen yeah, cell queen in cells, there. Yeah. What you've just missed, we just heard them quacking. We've got a frame there with five on. Yeah. And we need, just mind that bobby with your leg there, because that's full of bees down in. Now then, it's decisions and decisions. Let's have a little look. Now, have you noticed how the bees are really attentive with this one? So that might be the one that they're left? Or? It could be the one they're very keen on. So we could leave that. Yeah. and kill Remove four of the, the others, yeah. but leaving one. Never kill them all. The first out will leave, kill... Leave two or what? Leave two. Yeah. No, I mean, if you've lost one it and it doesn't work, it means, Jen, yeah, you've lost yeah. the blooming hive just about. But these are being very good, very well behaved. Mm -hmm. That's a fair-sized queen cell, that. What happens when you end up with two queens, though? One kills the one, other. One will kill, the first one out will kill the other. What happens if she can't find that? Oh, she'll she find her in there. Really? Yeah. But we just heard them, and we say you're over. We heard them quacking. Right. When she, if she's out and she hears them quacking, she and she kills them with a sting. How do they make she's that? The only, she's the only bee in here. Quacking, with, we heard a quacking, yeah, you're over there. It's a vocal thing. And it's it? a quack, quack, quack. You can, it's just a quack. And it's saying, we're here, we're here, we're here. But the thing is, then the queen will go out. The queen doesn't have a barb sting. Her sting has no barb on. She can sting again and again and again. She'll kill all them. The if she's out first, have a barb sting, isn't it? it's it's the working bees, the ones that sting, because the drone, drone doesn't have a sting, but it's uh, they have a barb, little barb, 
mm-hmm. on the sting. And that caused it, we all go, oh. Anyway, look, we're, we're digressing here and we've got work to do. 